Hello guys, my name is David Han and today I will show you how to disable win how to disable Windows anti malware service executable. Now what I mean is this if you open task manager by pressing Ctrl Shift Escape like this like this Ctrl Shift Escape On your keyboard, all right, and task manager will appear, or just, or you can just search up task manager like this. Now, as you can see, we have our main culprit, anti malware service executable. This process right here. Now, it eats up a lot of RAM, as you can see by the indication right here. yeah now I will show you how to disable it so if you I will give you I will give you this last warning you want to do this if you a really know what you are doing and B aren't stupid all right if you are a computer illiterate then it is really best to just leave the Windows anti malware service executable on because not only it constantly and routinely scans your PC for virus, but you will be far better safer with the anti malware service executable constantly running in the background. But if you have weak PC and you are somewhat knowledgeable about PC, i.e., not stupid enough to download random exe random program from the internet, random programs that you receive from your email, which is Obviously your virus don't do that Then I will show you the easiest way to disable your to disable Anti-malware anti-malware service executable on your windows is by downloading the program called Defender control all right now Defender control. Here we go. Keep in mind, Windows will detect this as a virus, but in actuality, it is not a virus because I already test tested it, tested it on my PC right here, and so far I'm all right. I mean, my PC is all right. So Windows Defender detect this this application right here this exe program right, right here as a hack tool now hack tool itself is related to key gens or key generator key generator application is very useful to generate to generate a license key for a paid application so basically you can think of it as a useful software for cracking a paid software you know for pirating a, a, a paid software now if we head over to windows defender by searching virus and threat protection right here windows by searching virus and threat protection all right we'll open this one for you as you can see everything is on now like i said earlier if you know what you are doing aka you are not stupid at computer you know what is the difference between an official software and an unofficial software and this and that then you can go ahead and turn off the anti malware executable anti malware service executable right here the one that I'm talking about anti malware service executable there we go Anti malware service executable. Now, to do it, to do that, all you have to do is just double click this. It will automatically request an admin privilege. This is because it's one of those applications that run on administra administrator mode by default. There we go. 
as you can see windows defender is running click disable windows defender right here Oh yeah. In order in order to in order to continue process processing you have to manually turn off the temper protection. Turn off the temper protection. Alright. Yes. There we go. Now this is the temper protection right here just turn that thing off there we go and now we go back to the application again disable windows defender right here disable windows defender let the application do its does its thing i mean do its thing and i have to warn you do not do anything to the application do not close the application while it is disabling your windows antivirus as you can see it may not look much but if we go back we'll see that real-time protection has been turned off you cannot turn your temper protection back on and if we reopen the antivirus threat protection it will show you that your antivirus your virus and threat protection is managed by your organization Protection is managed by your organization. No active antivirus provider. Your device is vulnerable. So basically what you essentially done is you knew you temporarily knew your antivirus, Windows antivirus. Now don't worry. You can turn that thing back on by enable Windows and no there we go it says windows defender hill running now we can go back there we go as you can see it's turned on temper protection here and there we go that's how you enable and disable your windows anti-malware service executable i hope you find this tutorial very helpful and if you do you can go ahead subscribe to this channel leave a like on this video leave a comment and share this video on your social media account if you find it very helpful thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye